Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video, and today we have the inaugural video of maybe a semi-regular series here for Shohei Sunday. Now, I love opening up 2019 products, so I kind of came up with an excuse to open up some 2019 Top Series 2 and archives and other, other uh, great sets from that year. And I called it Tatis Tuesday, looking for Fernando Tatis Jr., the future face of baseball, at least in my opinion. But... Every time I post one of those videos, I get a bunch of comments saying, you really need to do a Shohei Sunday because, quite honestly, Shohei is the hottest guy in the hobby right now. You can just look at his PSA 10 card prices and um, compare them to other top rookies, and uh, he is the cream of the crop. So we have two great boxes here that feature Shohei's rookie card. We've got... A 2018 Series 2 Blaster Box with 10 packs in there. And also a 2018. You guys are familiar with this one. We've opened this one a lot on the channel. I've even done like large-scale case breaks of this. 2018 Tops Update. And usually when we were doing 2018 Update, we were always looking for Ronald Acuna Jr. and Juan Soto. Those were the guys. Well, guess what? They're not the guys anymore. There's some guys that are really good, but they're not number one or number two, respectively. Shohei has passed them up and by a wide margin. If you take a look at PSA 10 recently sold prices for the Shohei Otani rookie card from Update and compare it to Juan Soto and Ronald Acuna Jr., uh, Otani clobbers them. He more than doubles them up. A Juan Soto PSA 10 goes for about one. It, it was going for about 150. He's come up a little bit since the home run derby. He's been hot in the second half, maybe about 160, 165. Ronald Acuna Jr. I picked up a PSA 10 of his card the other day for 107. dollars It's come up just a little bit because people are realizing, wow, an Acuna PSA 10 for 100 bucks. That's a pretty good bargain. Uh, of course, Acuna's out for the season. He's blown his knee out, so hopefully he can get back to. Uh, you know, star level next year. But Otani PSA 10s were about $300 re recently sold. Now, they, they fluctuate a bit. You can maybe find some for in the 200s, but uh, a lot of them are up in the upper 200s, up to $300 for a PSA 10. And his rookie card, his base rookie from Series 2 also, is right up there approaching $300. So he is a very, very hot card. Everybody wants Otani. Uh, a lot of people call him a once-in-a-lifetime, once-in-a-hundred-years talent, somebody that can be a lights-out starting pitcher and also um, arguably the best hitter in the league. Of course, Shohei Otani leading the league in home runs, leading the majors in home runs right now. All around uh, super impressive what he's doing right now. And a lot of people doubted him, thinking he wasn't going to be able to do it. And uh, yours truly also was one of those folks. Yep, I thought Otani was going to be a bust. I even said as much. And now Otani has made me eat my words. And uh, I'm glad he did so because I'm... Uh, rooting for the guy and love watching that story. But anyway, we're going to open these boxes right now for Will. Will, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, you can check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month. And you can also go for a higher tier like the $51 tier, the $99 tier. You'll get packs sent to you on a monthly basis along with blaster boxes. Those are our two most popular tiers. The $99 tier, you get two blaster boxes, six new packs from 2021 or 2020, and a fat pack in a priority mail crush proof box so with all that being said you can check that in the description if you'd like to sign up there we've got a break tomorrow on monday of clearly authentic that's gonna be really fun but let's uh let's get right into it here and we're gonna start off with the series two box which uh, man back in the day these boxes used to be twenty dollars when they're on the shelves in 2018 and uh even maybe like about I don't know, six, seven, eight months ago, you could pick up a box of these for about maybe a little less than 100 Now, Ronald Acuna Jr. bat down was the card that always kept this box afloat and always had it still up there. Of course, the bat down is the super, super short print of Acuna. Everybody wanted the bat down card of Acuna. And, uh, you know, I still need to get my hands on that card. I, I think that would be a nice one. I do not believe I have that one, but... It's tough to find. There's also a Glaber Torres, who's been kind of a big disappointment recently in the past two years. He's got a super short print in here as well. So let's see if we can find Otani's rookie card today. We've got 20 packs to do so, a grand total of 200 cards. Our chances of finding the Otani are probably about 60%, I'm going to guess. We'll see if we find them. So let's get this out of the way first. It's an exclusive manufactured patch of... 
the machine. Albert Pujols, nice looking card right there. Hey, maybe it will be a uh, harbinger of things to come there, that nice Angels helmet. So let's go ahead and get started. The top rookies in Series 2 is uh, obviously Shohei Otani's number one. Beyond him, there's not really too much to uh, write home about. All right, so we've got Dylan Maple's rookie card. I remember pulling his rookies, hoping he was going to be good, but uh, hasn't really worked out to this point. There's Trey Mancini, who was a finalist in the Home Run Derby. Jesse Chavez, Otani's teammate there for a little while. There's Matt Davidson, and we've got an Angel, but it's Albert Pujols. So they keep tricking us with that Angels logo. Three Angels already. And we are only one pack in. Let's get into pack number two. Bryce Harper on the front of this release. Bryce Harper also on the front of Clearly Authentic. There's Jose Osuna, Delano DeShields Jr. I'm looking forward to that update box, by the way, because not just Otani. Uh, we also have a chance to get Juan Soto rookie card, Shane Bieber, Ronald Acuna Jr., Glaber Torres, a whole bunch of them. There's a Jack Flaherty rookie card, which is a pretty cool one right there. And Manny Pena as well. Let's go into the next pack and see if we can find Shohei. I hope that we can find him. I'm going to have to maybe track down some more 2018 boxes. I don't have that much 2018 stuff left on my shelves. There's a Tim LaCastro rookie card. One of the fastest. Actually, he's the fastest player in the big leagues now. Chris Davis. I still don't think Davis is back yet. He had a bad back in spring training and uh, just hasn't appeared at all this season. Jose Urania and Kenta Maeda. Is the last one in that pack. Let's get into the next one. And what do we got on the back? It's going to be one of those show, MLB the show redemption codes, which I thought were really cool back in the day, back in 2018. I used to, honestly, not going to lie, played a lot of the show in 2018. And uh, I would actually go on eBay and buy these redemption cards for, I don't know, they're like a buck or whatever, and get the codes and just get a bunch of packs for really cheap those packs you would open up in the show and you would try to pull diamond players to make your Diamond Dynasty team better. I think back in 2018, I was actually making some MLB The Show content for the channel in the MLB off-seasons. So, Corey Kluber and Adam Warren gold card. Man, that'd be great if we could find a Shohei Otani gold card. We actually did find an Otani gold card. I think the last time we opened a box of 2018 update, um, PSA 10 of that now is... Ooh, Probably worth a couple thousand dollars. I think it went to, uh, who did that go to? Uh, I think it was Raymond. Raymond W. down in Texas got that car. There's Logan Morrison. We've got Carlos Martinez, Addison Reed. So you can see Series 2 of 2018, not really a crazy release. Uh, it's mostly about Shohei and the bat down. There's a Derek Jeter out of 299 numbered card right there. We've got Bradley Zimmer. He's actually back in doing some decent things this year. Finally has conquered a few years of injuries. And we've got four packs left to find Shohei on the Shohei Sunday. Hopefully everybody's having a nice Sunday. I hope you got a chance to check out our baseball card store video yesterday. We actually did two card stores that day. The second one I have not yet put out um, to the public. But, uh, man, that was a pretty cool store because they let us go down into their basement, which sprawled underneath the streets of Johnstown and underneath the buildings next to it. They had a huge warehouse down there just filled with cards. I think you will be interested to see that one. I'll try to get that one out maybe at some point next week. Let's see, we've got our next pack. Nothing crazy going on there. We've got Francisco Cervelli, who's now retired. Philip Evans, rookie card. There's Mark Leiter Jr. We've got the Dynamic Dodgers with Yasiel Puig, who who knows if we'll ever see Puig in another big league game. He's toiling down in Mexico. I shouldn't say toiling. He's tearing it up down there. But I don't think anybody really wants Puig back. He's had some uh, accusations against him. And we might not see Puig anymore in the big league uniform. He was fun, though, while he lasted. Always controversial. All right, so we've got a Tyler Malley rookie card, and here comes an angel. Not this card. There's two holes again. They do have a Legends in the Making, I believe, Otani card, but here's an Angels card coming up. I don't think it's the Otani, though. It is going to be Jim Johnson, so we're, I'm going to probably end up getting basically every angel out of this box, except for Shohei. Let's see if we can find it. Last pack of 2018 Series 2. We have Alex Mejia leading things off. Chris O'Grady and Miguel Sano. By the way, a blaster box of these nowadays on eBay is about 150 bucks or more. 
And uh, that's obviously because if you pull the Otani and if it's a PSA 10, you've got yourself about a $300 card. And if you pull a parallel of that, well, you are very, very lucky. You have yourself a very valuable card. So no Otani in box number one. Now we're going to go into one of my favorite sets of all time, 2018 update. I wish I would have just picked up cases upon cases upon cases of this. Back in 2018, when this first came out, you could buy a hobby case for $750. That's crazy. I mean, even today with Series 2, the hobby cases are still almost $1,000. But $750 for a hobby case. Do you know what a hobby case now goes for? It would go for easily over $12,000. This hobby boxes are over about $1,000 a piece. Um, so if only we would have all had the foresight to go ahead and grab a bunch of 2018. Of course, a lot, a lot of us thought, well, we missed the boat on 2011 update. We're probably never going to have a set like that again. And here we have 2018 uh, update, which, uh, you know, is pretty darn good. So let's check this out. Just so many great rookies in this. Like I said, you got Otani, you've got Soto, you've got Acuna, you've got Shane Bieber, you've got Glaber Torres. Let's see what we can find in this. I bet you we get at least one great rookie. I'm hoping we get the Otani. If not the Otani, then hopefully we can hit the Soto or Acuna. Here's our Jackie Robinson Day exclusive patch. Let's get this done. You can see it's a Trevor story. I'm never too excited about these, so if you're like, why are you so like uh, dreary about that hit? It's not really a hit to me, but some people out there collect those manufactured patches, I'm sure. All right, so here we go with our first update pack. We got 10 packs of these to do. We've got a rookie card, and it might be a Glaber. And it is. It is a Glaber All-Star game uh, rookie card right there. He actually has like three rookies, I think, in this set. He's got his base rookie. He's got the All-Star game rookie card. And I think he has, he's got a rookie debut in here as well. So Glaber's all over the place. We'll sleeve that one up. Of course, his cards have taken a big nosedive past two years we've got another rookie card coming up it is going to be francisco mejia storybook ending card there's lou gehrig we've got a taylor davis and a daniel gossett rookie card as well so a lot of these rookies you might be like who's that guy it's only 2018 i don't even know who that is some of these rookies just have a cup of coffee and then they just kind of disappear then some of them become uh the best players in the game like otani Juan Soto, I would call one of the best players in the game for sure as well. There's Nick Kingham. We've got a Hideki Matsui, 1983 rookie card of Reese Hoskins. That's not too bad. We'll sleeve up that Reese Hoskins. Kenley Jansen. Jesus Aguilar participating in the home run derby with the hat backwards. And Justin Verlander is the last one there. So still no rookie. Man, the first Shohei Sunday is uh, making me a little nervous here. We might not get any. It looks like we got two freaking Felipe Vasquez cards so far. The worst possible card you can pull from this. This is kind of a funny card. You've got Aaron Judge and the Little Man. Five foot, uh, I believe Altuve is listed at five six. Probably more like five four. Of course, Judge, I believe, is six six, six seven. Kind of an interesting card there because. Um, Altuve won the 2017 MVP and Judge finished as runner-up. And then it came out later that the Astros were cheating and Judge was not too happy with that. So that's probably the last time they ever spoke. And oh my gosh, look at this! Do you see what's coming up next, Will? I see a pitcher DH. There's only one pitcher DH I know of. It's the Shohei Otani. So we got the Otani rookie card on our first ever edition of Shohei Sunday. Congratulations on that one, Will. There it is. There is the rookie card, which, honestly, uh, about a year ago, nobody really cared about Shohei rookie cards anymore. You could buy this card raw for about a buck, which is pretty crazy. And now, in a PSA 10, you can get yourself $300 on this bad boy right there. So there it is, the Shohei Otani rookie card. We'll show you the back. It's the man the video is all about, the guy that we are after. Unbelievable um, just what he is able to do with that power that he has and also that pitching prowess as well. An awesome card right there, Shohei Otani. So, Will, we hit it. I'll get that bad boy one-touched up for you. Um, where are my one-touches anyway? Should definitely always have a one-touch around when you're doing a Shohei Sunday. I need to uh, learn that lesson right now so i'll get one touched up for you 
Um, and we're not done yet. We also still have an, an opportunity to pull possibly an Acuna Jr. or a Juan Soto or something else. So nice Shohei Otani right there. Congratulations, man. Let's go ahead and finish off this box. Love 2018 update. I just absolutely adore it. Wish it wasn't so expensive. You might be thinking, how much is a box of those? Well, a box of uh, update is about, there's a nice Mike Trout. It's like $225 to $250 or so on eBay. And that's another one that just um, a few years ago, you could have picked it up for 20 bucks. And honestly, for whatever reason, nobody liked 2018 update when it came out. I used to do videos going to Walmarts, and there would just be tons of 2018 update in the clearance section, which when's the last time you saw the clearance boxes at Walmart? Probably before the whole pandemic began. They used to toss all the extra cards in there for 40% off. Nothing really crazy. And well, oh, no, I thought maybe that was one of those rookie combos cards, but that might have one of the big stars on there. I think uh, Otani's got a car with Mike Trout. They're kind of joshing around. I think maybe Acuna might have a car like that. I'm not exactly sure. Can't remember off the top of my head, but that one wasn't a good one. There's a Medrosario, Jose Altuve, and there he is. It's Shohei again. So this is a pretty nice card as well. So we got two Shoheis, Shohei and Ichiro. I'll tell you what, Tops did a nice job taking advantage of uh, Shohei Mania. Everybody was after Shohei Otani in 2018. I mean, I mean, he's even the cover boy of the box. He's on the front of the packs. And when's the last time you saw a rookie just go straight to the front of the box, basically? This card's worth some good money as well in a PSA 10. Not $300, but that'll probably still fetch you, uh, I don't know, maybe about 100 bucks or so in a PSA 10. I haven't really taken a chance to look up that card. But I do know that people love that card. There's a Brent Suter rainbow. We've got an Aaron Judge 83 style design. And an Austin Meadows rookie card, which we will sleeve up for you. A nice one right there. All right, next pack. Let's see what we can find. We still have four packs left. I already have two Otanis from this box. You might think, are there any more Otanis? Well, yes. There's uh, there's the one with him and Mike Trout kind of hanging out. And there's the rookie debut. You've got to be kidding me. Three Otanis in one box? How about that one? Well, it looks like I picked the winner box for Shohei Sunday. You got all, I, I believe there's only one other Shohei card in the set. And it's the, I, I think it's in this set. It's him and Mike Trout on a golf cart riding along to a spring training. But you got the big three. The three best ones are the Shohei base card, the rookie debut card where you see him batting. So you have him pitching and batting now. now this is the most valuable of them because it is his uh, his real rookie cards. The rookie debuts are usually worth about half as much. I can't believe we hit three Shohei's in this video. That's crazy. I guess we should probably put them all on the screen just um, so people can see that. And we'll get those other ones top loaded up here after the video. So Trevor Story and a Ronald Acuna Jr. What a good box. And Acuna Jr. This is one of the uh, inserts. It's the rookie's insert set. Not worth as much as the real rookie card. I call it the real rookie. His uh, you know, the one where he's um, finishing off the swing. Love that card. And we haven't found that one yet. Willie Adamas is a nice one as well. And Carson Kelly. So pretty darn good. Actually, I couldn't have asked for a better box for Shohei Sunday with three Otani rookies in it. Let's check the next one out. There's Christian Yelich. And we've got Glaber as well. Get out of here. Another one. Two Glaber Torres. A Ronald Acuna Jr. Three Otanis. Will, I was a little concerned there after that first box. There's a nice Yachty gold card. We'll get that one sleeved up. And we've got a Juan Soto Legends in the making as well. So, I'll, man, <laughs> might be one of the better boxes of all time from Update. Uh, first, we're going to, I guess, to call it that, we're going to need the Acuna and the Soto base rookie cards. But what a great box. Two packs left. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Help us get towards that 100K milestone. And also hit the uh, thumbs up button as well. We'd love to have you aboard for all of our videos. Let's see if we can stay hot here in the last two packs. We've got a storybook endings card of Jackie Robinson. Retired after the 56 season. Didn't want to make the trip out west with the Dodgers out to Los Angeles. So he just decided to hang them up. And here we go. The very last pack on this Shohei Sunday. 
Let's see what we've got. Leading things off is a Trevor Bauer. We've got a Machado right there. Freddie Freeman, Jonathan Scope, Mark Canna. There's an international affair card of Jose Abreu. Jack Flaherty, 1983 rookie card is a nice one. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr. That's the duo that I was thinking of a little bit earlier. Acuna and Albies. Standing of the future is bright for the Braves. We've got... Reds rookies, Blandino and Dixon, and Nathan Devoldi is the last one right there. So a great box. Three awesome Shohei Otani cards, along with a bunch of other good rookie cards as well. The Glabers, the nice Legends in the Making Soda, the Acuna. Uh, that was a pretty successful Shohei Sunday. And thank you guys to everybody that suggested I do that. I'm glad we did do that. We'll probably do that, uh, you know, we won't do it every Sunday. But every now and then, might grab. maybe next time we'll grab a hobby box or something and go after... Um, some Otani's in a different release, but I mean, I love 2018 update. That's going to be probably one of the uh, the themes of Shohei Sunday because I love opening those so much, as you can see right there with all these great cards that we pulled out of there. Imagine pulling like a gold or an Independence Day or a black parallel of one of those cards. It would be just be crazy. So, well, thanks again to Will. Again, you can check us out on Patreon if you'd like to buy into any of our breaks or sponsor a video like this one. I don't even know if I have any room to put this down on the screen. But uh, link is down in the description. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Check us out tomorrow. We've got Mystery Box Monday. And we've also got a live stream Monday night of Clearly Authentic. So until then, I hope you have a great rest of your evening. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.